So today we're going to look at another plug-in alliance plug-in. We're looking at the MC77 compressor. Now I'm pretty familiar with this one because I have another emulation of this plug-in and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't use it as much, but then I got this one and I started messing around with it and I forgot how good this plugin really is. Now the difference between the plugin that I have and this one, all the different options that my version doesn't have. And we're going to talk about that for the last couple of videos. I've been using the same example. Uh, I've been using a session that I produce with my good friend, Sin Rock. In Brooklyn, you can get stretched like spandex or OD up a hundred Xanax. Don't panic. I got a bed for you in the Atlantic. Assault rifle running right in your campus. No processing whatsoever. The only thing I currently have is this compressor on the lead vocal. So we all know that this is your ratio. You have all buttons in. I usually keep it at four. And as far as the meter, I like to see the gain reduction. Some people like to actually see the signal going out. So you would press this right here. In Brooklyn, you can get stretched. Like I'm gonna grab this part here. I'm gonna solo it. Now, when I recorded this track, we did it in the living room. Not a lot of treatment. The only thing I really did is I had this big blanket that I put behind the artist at the time just to kind of kill some of the reflections. It worked, but it isn't perfect. So when we compress the hell out of it, you're actually going to hear the room. In Brooklyn, you could get stretched like spandex or OD off a hundred Xanax. Don't panic. I got a bet for you in the Atlantic. In Brooklyn, you could get stretched like spandex or OD off a hundred Xanax. Don't panic. I got a bet for you in the Atlantic. In Brooklyn, you could get stretched like spandex or OD off a hundred Xanax. Don't panic. I got a bet for you in the Atlantic. In so I'm getting around minus 10 dB. Normally, when the recording is done really well, you really don't have any issues. But in this case, you're going to hear the room. In Brooklyn, you could get stretched like spandex. There's a lot of ways to deal with that situation. In this video, we're not going to talk about that. So let's talk about the bottom section of this compressor. Now, I am running the mono version of the compressor. We have these four options that are not available, and that's fine. If there's anything I didn't cover in this video, you can actually download this plugin and give it a try. So one of the things I love about Plugin Alliance, this TMT technology that they use. So you can take this plugin, spread it across the whole entire track, and you can change the numbers. For example, this one would be number one, then I'll copy it here, then I'll open this one and I'll select number two. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna act a little bit different than number one, different characteristics. And over here we have headroom, we have your sidechain filter and we have your parallel mix. You can actually create your own crush boss or something like that and just use this to mix the signals. Over here, this is pretty interesting headroom. So instead of me trying to explain it to you guys, let me just show you what it does. Brooklyn, you could get stretched like spandex or OD off a hundred Xanax. Don't panic. I got a bed for you. So here's how I would use this. I have this plug in within my template. My settings, I don't touch. I like to drive my audio into the plugin. So if it's a little too hot, I'll come here and I'll just back off a little bit without touching any of these settings. That's how I use it. Am I doing it wrong? Probably, but it works for me. And at the end of the day, there's no rules. If something works, keep doing it. And your high pass filter and your sidechain filter is great. One of the things I like to do, I usually like to put an EQ before a compressor. Sometimes that bottom information can trigger the compressor. Sometimes you don't want that. So if you don't have those options, just put an EQ before the compressor. You should be okay. But if you have this option, use it. Now, just to clarify, this only works when you're using sidechain. So over here, you have your key input. So if you wanted a kick to trigger the compressor and you have this compressor on your base, in order for it to actually work, you have to turn the key input on. And that's pretty much to it. Yes, there are some other options here that only work in the stereo version of this plugin. And honestly, we don't really have the time to cover those options. But what I will tell you is you can go over to the website and give it a try. It's a fantastic plugin. 